Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Irad, and so in today's video, we are going to try one of Star Citizen's Alpha 3.24's most important features the delivery missions, in this case, the cargo hauling delivery missions. And so, for the purpose of this video, I have taken not one, not two, but three cargo delivering missions. So, we're going to be flying this Cutlass Black here, which, of course, is my favorite ship and we are going to put the ship right in front of the front elevator so i'm not going to go far just a couple of meters but that is going to just make my life a little bit easier as i am unloading the ship so there are going to be indeed quite a few boxes but as always i'm going to have to organize these boxes based on their type so that I don't deliver everything at the same time and then the front elevator box. I know ideally everything will be put at the same time on the front elevator but we've seen in the PTU that it doesn't always work. Maybe we could be trying this out in a future video but not today. So as you can see a grand total of 36,000 FA UEC for three missions all going from Everest Arbor which is where I'm right now to Tisa spaceport down there on planet Hurston. So I'm just checking if there are any other missions here from Everest to Tisa. I mean, there are missions from Everest to Tisa, but they also take me to other places and I don't want that. Plus at the same time, you know, the Cutlass Black only has a cargo capacity of 46,000 of uh, <laughs> 46 SCU, I was gonna say 1,000 of you see, of 46 SCU, so it's not that much. So I guess that we are going to just uh, content ourselves with what we have, especially as I can see here that there is nothing else available straight to Tisa Spaceport. So let's load the content. Why every time I try to use the front elevator, it takes me out like this. So and we need to put it down there in the storage first. That's what it does. If you have never watched a uh, cargo hauling mission that's what you have to do first because the front elevator is already here in the hangar we don't want that right and then once it is in the storage area or the warehouse we are putting those boxes right here on the front elevator and then we have to raise it and then it comes back again it seems like it's working yeah i was afraid that it wouldn't be working but it seems like it is all right that's good Transferring to hangar, all the boxes are here. Oh, it's not that much. I was thinking that it would be a little bit more. Oh, that's because I have two big containers of 4 SCU. Okay, so that's why here. That's gonna save me some time. Well, these are the ones that I'm going to put first into the ship here. Please, guys, if you are doing those missions, by the way, do use a uh, max lift tractor beam which is the rifle tractor beam that you can get at the uh, cargo areas of the stations above the planets i bought this one at everest arbor just above herson and it definitely makes life so much easier than having a tractor beam attachment to the multi-tool which quite frankly uh, is not what it used to be right the tractor beam attachment is still good for small you know package deliveries i suppose that's still okay right but for for cargo hauling missions like these, it's just not. <coughs> Come on, put on the cargo grid here. One, two, perfect. Now, we st that was the waste or the scrap. It's one of those commodities. We still have Corundrum and Titanium too. So I'm going to put the Corundrum in one part of the ship. Probably the uh, end here. And then the Titanium. Um, some probably uh, around the middle so let's do this and i'm going to play a little bit of music here while we are uh, doing that
Alright, we are done here. This was the last box. So we'll close the lateral door. Oops, we'll close the lateral door right here. And ready to go all the way down to the planet. I know some, some people say, oh, I don't like to play Tetris. I think it's interesting to be to optimize your space, right? To make sure that that you are using as little space as possible with as many containers as possible. Especially when you are doing your whole your your own cargo hauling when you are buying and selling commodities uh, it's really important that can sometimes make the difference between one and two trips or two and three trips so i would highly recommend you guys to start to understand how the cargo grids of your ships are working and exactly how many rows of containers you can put which size and also which contain which type of container would go on which one for example you may not be able to put two large containers on top you may have maybe one layer of large containers and one layer of smaller containers my goodness the frame rate is absolutely horrendous this is something that i often have above hurston hurston is the only planet above which i have this kind of issue with a terrible drop of frames yeah this is pretty bad so i'm trying to find lorville so all you have to do there to find Lorville, if you have those missions available or turned on, is to find the marker, like this. And it just doesn't... <sighs> Come on, Lorville. I can have a route. Okay, good. Okay, now let's try to go down there. Oh, it's so slow. Uh, no. Oh, I made the mistake of moving my mouse. Not good. <clears throat> Not good at all. Ah. Looks like it's working, maybe. Trying to. <laughs> and before going to Lorville, I have to go to Hurston first. Yes, that's one of the uh, changes that's coming with update 3.24. First, you have to go to the planet and then to the orbital marker. And now I can position the ship, or I can try to position the ship right by Lorville. Come on, I should be it here. Once we'll be above Lorville, it should be okay. It's just the problem is above the planet like that. And maybe it could be it must be a combination of you know, Vulcan, the the sun rays. Whatever is happening here, this is something that was not happening 
uh, in 3.22. It started with 3.23 and it continues with 3.24, which is not really a surprise because 3.24 is just a continuation of 3.23. At least, it's sunny, not flying by night today. So, I'm gonna try to find where Tiza Spaceport is located. Usually, it's easy to see with its distinct lights. And I cannot see the lights of Tiza Spaceport. Huh. That's a lot of smog on top of Lorville today. Now there's also a, a lighthouse that beams around the spaceport just like Area 18, but the thing, it could be that light over there, there's a pretty big one, but the problem is that it's not the only one. So I'm still trying to see what's around. Ah, 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 it's actually here! We can see the uh, Tiza spaceport signs. Wow, that was really hard to find. <laughs> Yeah, the pollution, and that's what I like about you know, this place, the way it's done, right? The pollution sometimes is so intense, you can't see anything. Which uh, contributes to the whole dystopian vibes that uh, this planet has. Alright, about to arrive here, I will very soon call a hangar. I press B to have my shields on, just in case. The Eradicator's Extra Large Hangar. Well, is it the one in the middle? It usually is. Yeah, it's the one in the middle. I guess that the game will give you the one in the middle by default if the one's around, because I haven't seen a lot of other players playing around, right? We're still at 100 people per server, and which means also per shard, because we don't have server meshing. And the way the you know, the game environment is built you know, around the status system. Players are still spread out in various locations. And you know, I hope that with server meshing we are going to be seeing more players per, per instances and the game will feel a bit more alive with other players. Alright, so putting the ship as close as possible to the freight elevator. I mean, this should be it. Now let's turn off the engines. And all I have to do now is unloading. So I'm going to do things uh, a bit differently here. We're not going to unload all the boxes, you know, at the same time. I will unload them uh, by category here and then uh, complete each of the missions individually. So let's go.
All right, just checking if everything is okay. Oh, this box is on the cargo grid. That's okay. Um, can I, what is that? Is that titanium or corundrum? It's corundrum. We'll just put it outside just in case. Separately here, some box of corundrum. All right, good. And let's open this. Now, oh, yes, need to open the back door because I'm not going to be able to go uh, through the front door, I mean the side door. So let's go on to the first elevator and let's bring in the first mission. Let's go down here. All of the mission, all the cargo boxes are shipped. That's wonderful. They're going down. Transfer complete. Okay, here goes one mission. Uh, that's the. It's also my home base, so these are some of the uh, items that I have. Let's bring back the freight elevator, and now I have two options. I could be bringing uh, the corundrum or the scrap. I believe the containers of scrap have been cleared. Yes, if I bring in the scrap, that's some easy picking here. Just two containers. Oh, ooh. oh dear. Uh, I still get hit by my own containers very often. Yeah, luckily I haven't lost any hit po health points this time, so that's good. Okay, I'll try not to get bumped by the container. Where is it? Come on, go out there. Perfect. All right. Easy win here. Let's go back onto the front elevator and let's deliver that. We're going to lower that. It should be good enough. There we go. Four SCE of scrap. Right in. Oh, just uh, just four times. And now we are going to finish with a Coron drum. And after that, we'll check uh, how much reputation I would have gained here after finishing this mission. We are done with the last shipment, so let's bring it down once more for the third mission. All the boxes are here, perfect. I mean, so far so good. It has worked, right? I haven't had any issues, so I would say that, you know, whatever hotfix has been applied to the game so far has worked, at least when it comes to cargo hauling missions. That's great. Now, I want to see with my rep a little bit here how much... I have gained here, so let's go to the Moby Glass very quickly. Gonna go a little bit later. Call another ship, obviously. To the vehicle retrieval system. That's going to be uh, another ship for another mission that you guys have already seen on the channel. Bring in the 85X for some trading. But I want to check the reputation here, so let's go to rep. Uh, first, I want to make sure the missions have been completed. Yes, they have. All right, but let's go to the rep now. Kovalex, and I'm still a rookie. Okay, so you need to do a couple more. I suppose that four missions would make you uh, be a rookie. All right, well, that is all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I think that now will be a time when we are going to be raiding someone. I think I'll raid my buddy Segedian if he is online. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Cheers. <clears throat>